Hey, man, what the fuck going on? <laughs> Hold up. Straight ass. Hey, man, we back at it like a motherfucker crack at a goddamn me with this Arkansas drill lyrics that actually happened. Part nine, nigga. Hey, man, I need everybody to do me a little big favor, man. Just go ahead, tap in, and follow my Instagram if you haven't, man. If you ain't following me, man, you missing out. We be lit on the ground, man. If you know, you know. This where you'll get all the Arkansas news, updates on everything, man. And, yeah, we get live on that bit, man. But, yeah, go tap in. Man. No beast, the all-time Lakers. Why was going as long as it take hoes to have a baby? Fuck the fans and fuck a song. We bouncing out and dropping eight. I don't want to say his name, but he got dropped outside the case. I leave out outside his car. I don't know why them bitches hate me. Breaking news just into our newsroom. Little Rock police are investigating a homicide. Here, Mandy Noel joins us from the scene right now. And Mandy, what do you know? I know details still coming in. Yeah, it's a really active scene, too. In fact, I just got out here a couple minutes ago, and I've been trying to walk around to kind of assess the surroundings. So we are at the Mapco off of Canis Road, and in the middle of the parking lot here, I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way so that we can kind of pan in on it. But there's a silver car, and I counted five or six bullet holes in the side of the driver's door, and there's also one in the window, the driver's side window. LRPD tweeted out just a couple minutes ago, detectives are investigating a homicide. So that's what happened here. First off, man, I would like to say R.I.P. to Draco J, man. A.K.A. Jacob Robinson of Little Rock. So basically, man, Jacob was a member of SBTL, the Skrilla Gang, and was a well-known Rain Ding affiliate, too, as well. And he claimed the 20s which is East Little Rock's biggest ops by far. Some sources say that when he was alive, he was really out there in that field getting active, man. And and I, I, it seems like that's why every chance that the East gets, they pretty much just diss him in every single song. So basically what I heard that happened that night when he died was he was casually at the store Mapco, which is now called Casey's. But yeah, he was at the store, and I'm guessing he saw three men that he was not cool with. And sources say that he actually bust they ass first or tried to shoot at them first. And yeah, man. And I guess that went that went how it went, allegedly. We don't know everything yet, but yeah, man. RP him for sure. It got so bad, the distance shit got so bad that they changed Mapco to Casey's and like I say about a half a year. Like, it, it was crazy. They changed the whole name. Heard your brother die without his gun. What the fuck you lacking for? Hey, I don't know nothing about it. I just heard that shit was tragic, though. Everybody around me, shooters off the real. Won't do no passing. He watched his brother die, then when he sneezed, he should have passed a bro. He watched his brother die, then when he sneezed, he should have passed a bro. So basically, who Rundown was talking about in that bar was one of his ops. A guy that goes by EBK Trey Kane. And when Rundown said, he watched his brother die and he went and snitched. He should have passed with him. He wasn't lying. He did watch one of his partners die sadly. They got shot right in his face, sadly. And he went back and told everything he saw and gave statements. Wolfong took a recorded statement from the shooting victim that was in the car with DeAndre Clark. The victim stated that he and DeAndre were at the casino and saw Stacy Slacks, that she was on her phone that they left the casino and Stacy Slacks followed them in her Tahoe. They stated that she went to, they went to 410 Lounge and that there were a lot of people parked on the road and that Miss Slacks parked on Olive Street. They stated that she never got out of her vehicle and that when the victim, Deontay Clark, and the, the other battery victim left, the police were showing up to clear the parking lot. And at that time, they saw a gold car parked next to Stacy's Tahoe. The victim stated that Deontay Clark handed him a gun and he heard one shot and looked behind the vehicle that he was in. He saw three suspects, including Darnell Ford, shooting at them. The victim stated he began shooting back and ran from the car. So yeah, man, run down top boy ops. 
definitely out here motherfucking ratting, sliding on the ops, rapping, and doing more ratting and shit. Like, I don't see how y'all niggas be sliding on the ops and going right back in that jail station and telling everything you saw. Y'all niggas be confusing me. Is you gangster or is you police, my nigga? Make up your mind. And the R.I.P. to the other EBK member as known as the Clips, a.k.a. DeAndre Clark. Hey, man, it's sad to see this, man, but, hey, if you live by the gun, you die by the gun, man. This Lodi G and EBK beef and shit and Palm Bluff, man, hey, if you know, you know, bro. If you don't know, if you knew, you just now tuning in, you got to go watch my older videos, bro. I break down all this shit, but, yeah, R.I.P. to that, man, and, hey, man, free diggy, no cap. DMG that murder gang, I know the guy gon' blow for me Quick to hop out with the Drake, but no, no work that 23 Front of 9, back to the 11, no, I know we be slangin' heat Out the window with that glizzy, knock this fat ass off his feet Out the window with that glizzy, knock this fat ass off his feet Man, and another R.I.P. to DZ Kane, man, of Little Rock Shit, man, hey. These Little Rock streets ain't no joke, bruh. Hey, if you from the city, man, you probably already know what happened to him. It's shit so old. But for all my new people that's just now tuning in, I'm going to give y'all a little rundown. So basically, bro, this guy right here is from 6'5", which is beef. They are beefing with the east side of Little Rock. And yeah, man. So supposedly he was dissing on DMG Fredo Mama. Making fun of when she died, bruh. And next thing you know, this man magically just disappeared, bruh. Hey, y'all put two and two together. I ain't gonna say too much, but yeah. He magically disappeared, man. R.I.P. D.Z. came, man, from 6-5. And yeah, bruh. How little bro spin the block, and yeah, my name up top. They came from spinning blocks, won't lead to lead the car. My oppo got the drop, give it time sooner or later. That bitch getting pop. Liz ain't seen to though, that this fully can't stop. Now it won't stop. See, we gon' Liz ain't seen to though, that this fully can't stop. Well, Bob and Laura, 18-year-old Tyler Thompson was a recent graduate of Joe T. Robinson High School here in Little Rock. He had a 3.0 GPA. Tonight, his parents say they just want justice for their son. His last words were, you know, Mom, I love you. And I was like, you know, I love you too, son. You know, call me when you leave. June 5th, 2020 is a day that the Terrells will never forget. A simple check-in phone call ended up being the last time Shanetta Terrell would hear her son's voice. Maybe 45 minutes later, that's when I got the phone call that he had been shot. Just after 7 o'clock that night, police responded to a shooting on North Shackleford and found 18-year-old Tyler Terrell, also known as TJ, shot multiple times. He was later taken to a hospital where he died. Since that day, no arrests have been made. Yep. Man, R.I.P. Tito, man. Hey, this shooting and shit happened three years ago, but bruh, hey, like I said, man, these Little Rock Streets, Ain't got no love for nobody, shit. He looked like a, just a little decent little kid that was just in sports and shit. Hey, you hang around the wrong motherfucker, shit, they'll get you, bruh. Guilty by association, for sure. But shit, I ain't gonna lie. After this murder, I feel like that's what really sparked off this whole beef, for real. Like, this what really ignited the whole fucking beef. Because when he left, hey, shit, The Rock really just turned the fuck up after his, de after his death, for real. I can say that shit for sure, but hey man, RIP. And another crazy fact about it was up top DC was not lying that song, bro. Lil Zay actually did watch him die. Sadly, bro. Zay Tron Waste, aka PME WAP, was a big PME member out of East Little Rock. Yeah, man. Hey. Yeah. That's what happened, bro. It's crazy.